Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to FilmSci. Rick Harrison, the star of Pawn Stars on the History Channel, knows who he is and his Red Rock Country Club house in Summerlin that he's put on the market reflects it. The 8845 square foot home at 2556 Redwood Arrow Drive in its own gated community of Red Rock's estate inside Red Rock Country Club is on the market for $4 million. Harrison bought the house in 2001 and more than three years ago, but with his six children grown, he no longer needs the space and has found a new home. It's like Rick from Pawn Star, so there's going to be some odd stuff in here, Harrison said as he gave a tour of his home. That's a 200-year-old door, and that's a 150-year-old door, and that's an 800-year-old window right there. It's actually, he added, a 12th century stained glass window from England he bought six or seven years ago from an architectural salvage yard in California for $400 and is worth $35,000. It's just inside the entrance of the home, invisible from a sitting area with oversized Christopher Guy chairs, where the bright green paint from the adjacent fireplace stands out in the room. The house is pretty colorful, Harrison said. The fireplace is painted with an automotive paint, and so is most of the crown molding on the doors. It's 5,000 to 1,500 a gallon, and you can't get those kinds of colors with regular paint. The automotive paint washes 100 times better, and I have six kids and a bunch of grandkids, so we know how that is. When Harrison and his wife, Dina, moved into the home, Harrison said it was like a flashback to 1985. Even though the home was built in 2001, everything from the cabinets, ceilings, walls, and countertops were white and it looked dated, he said. My wife is a great designer and I can't sit around and do nothing all day, Harrison said. We did some incredible work on this place. They spent about $600,000 on renovations. The flooring in the formal sitting room is made of granite that is acid washed, cut into planks, and laid like a hardwood floor at a cost of $45,000. It's a cool effect, and if you have a house like this, you need things like that, Harrison said. When the home was custom built, the original owner spared no expense in the home. According to Harrison's realtor, Zar Zangane, owner of Lux Estates and Lifestyles. For example, the exterior of the home is made out of Jerusalem limestone and is worth more than $1 million, he said. Some things we didn't change, Harrison said. There's marble crown molding in the bathroom and they spared no expense. Everything about the house is amazing. There's incredible work in the office. It's burled walnut and it's pricey. The raw logs are about $8 a pound. The office was Harrison's favorite part of the home to hang out and read as a self-described book nerd. He said when in the office, he felt like he was in the 17th century English manor. Just outside the office is a sitting area and formal dining room that Harrison said was used a lot because they like to host dinner parties. The home has two bedrooms on the lower level and two on the upper level. A gym can also be used as a bedroom. The home has seven baths. There's a 12-seat home theater with a 150-inch screen and a curtain. A wine cellar holds more than 1,000 bottles. The home is a traditional layout, but the family room with a large green television and kitchen are combined, and the family spent a lot of time in that part of the house. Adjacent to it is an atrium that opens to the back and has a room for plants and adds humidity to the home, Zangana said. The home has an elevator and a central sound system where someone with a phone can play music in any room, Harrison said. There's even a backup generator if the power goes off. In the front of the home are views of the Red Rock Canyon Spring Mountains, and in the rear are views of the strip and overlooking the Aereo Golf Club. The game room upstairs has a balcony at the back of the home. The backyard has a lagoon-style pool and an elevated spa and gate that leads to the golf course. There's a 10-foot waterfall and lazy river that leads into the pool. The backyard also has an outdoor kitchen. Harrison said they chose the neighborhood because their kids went to high school in the area, but since the kids are grown, they no longer need the space. Besides, he said he has 29 cars and an 11-car garage and needs room for not only cars, but for his other passions such as welding and his workshop and horses. Harrison, who has a home in Oregon, recently bought a 1.5-acre ranch home measuring 4,500 square feet in the Northwest Valley in unincorporated Clark County, where he now resides. He plans to add a 4,000-square-foot garage. The HOA is not as big on me welding and having 1 million machines in my garage, Harrison said jokingly of his Red Rock Country Club home. Harrison said his family loved their summer neighborhood that he called one of the coolest streets in town. The street is closed off during Halloween and there's food trucks and a festival atmosphere. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye. I just like to say.